Okay, here we're going to solve the 2017 AMC 10A, problem number 22. Sides AB and AC of equilateral triangle ABC. We'll start by drawing an equilateral triangle, or a, an approximate drawing of one. Uh, are tangent to a circle at points B and C. So how do we accomplish that? Let's put B and C here with A at the top. This needs to be tangent to a circle at this point. Therefore, the circle is going to have to cross into here like this, come around here, eclipse that side, and look something along those lines. Okay, we've got that. Uh, don't forget that if it's tangent to the circle, let's go ahead and handle this now. When you hear tangent to a circle in a problem, you should be thinking the radius drawn to the point of tangency is 90 degrees. And since that's the case, we're simply going to draw to the points of tangency a 90 degree angle. All right, next up, what fraction of the area of triangle ABC, well, how are we going to find the area of it? We'll get to that lies outside the circle. So I want the, the problem, sometimes I like to draw a picture of what I want. Uh, I need a fraction line with the equilateral triangle in the denominator because I want what fraction of the triangle lies outside the circle. So then I'll take the equilateral triangle and I need to subtract uh, this portion right here called a segment. So how do I get the segment? I'm going to use the uh, area of the sector. So we're going to use the sector minus the triangle down here. At least that's the plan in my mind right now. Okay, next up, we need to figure out how we're going to get these things. Uh, we have a few options at our disposal. We can use variables to represent the sides. You could put the radius as R or the side as X and you could work with variables. Um, because it doesn't really matter what we choose, if we use numbers, it will work out as well, and sometimes that makes the calculation easier than using uh, a variable. So I'm gonna assign the value of two to all the sides of the equilateral triangle. One of the reasons for that is the area of an equilateral triangle is S squared root three over four. When I plug two into here, the S squared and the four cancels, and I just get root three. That will allow us to say that this is something over root three, and this is root three minus something. Okay, now for the something, we need the sector. Well, because this is 90 degrees right here, and 90 here, and this is 60, we know this central angle of the circle sector is 120. Okay, well, since that's 120, it's one-third of a circle because there's 360 degrees. So one-third times pi r squared. Now we've got to figure out what that r is. This is an isosceles triangle because the radii are equal. All isosceles triangles have the property that the altitude creates two congruent side-by-side -side triangles. Then this will be 60 and this will be 30. Um, opposite 60 is 1. So to get what's opposite 30, I divide that side by root 3. This little height right here of the triangle will be 1 over root 3. Okay, so far so good. We're going to double that to get the radius, which in my problem is 2 over root 3. Drop the radius into what we need to calculate. We will have 1 third times pi times 2 squared is 4 and root 3 squared is 3. That gives 4 pi over 9. So we will multiply or uh, place 4 pi over 9 over here, and now we need to find the area of the triangle. We'll just do what we've already calculated. We need half base times height. BC can be the base, and the height we wrote down as 1 over root 3. So 1 half times 2, which is the length of BC, if you recall, times the height of 1 over root 3. 1 over root 3 is what we have left after the 2 and the half cancel. We will write it as root 3 over 3. Now for the cleanup. All right, 
Let's start with the numerator. I like to create nines on all of the denominators that are in the numerator. So we're going to call the root 3 right here 9 root 3 over, three, over 9. Then minus uh, 4 pi over 9, and that will be minus times 3 over 3 will be 3 root 3 over 9. Let's clean that up first. 9 root 3 minus a negative 3 root 3 is 12 root 3 over 9 minus 4 pi over 9. All of this is still over the square root of 3. Um, if you have a over b minus c over d and it's all over e, uh, you can just put the e uh, on both of these like this and it becomes that. Okay, so the root 3 is going to get transferred up to the 9s. You get 12 root 3 over 9 root 3 minus 4 pi over 9 root 3. Next up, the root 3s cancel. The 12 over 9 is 4 thirds minus. There's no answers that have root 3 in the denominator, so we will rationalize to get 4 pi root 3 over 9 times 3, which is 27. This, we scan the answers and we find it right here in answer choice E.